Hi guys. So I received a question from Mika about how to combine multiple Excel files into a single file but with multiple worksheets. So this tutorial, I'm going to go through how to use UiPath to create a workflow to combine multiple Excel files into a single file but with multiple sheets names. So let's get right down into it. So the first step is to create a new process in your path studio. Here you can see I've created a new process called merge files. And then within the process, I'll create a new sequence. And let's give a name to this sequence. And then the first activity I'll do is to look into is to look into this the folder where I put all my files in. So the activity will be looking into this folder, grab any Excel files within this folder with the same extension, and then just see how many of them. It could be more than two files. Here you can see I have two files. File, file one has two worksheets within it. And then I have another file called file two, which only has one. So this activity, I'll grab all the files Give a file, I'll sign a variable called file names. Let's con do control K, set the variables, and then let's give a type as array of strings. So it will be a, an array of string of file names. So there will be multiple files. So the next thing is to do directory dot get files and then paste the path of your folder here. So this is to tell UI path to, to just Get all the files within this folder with the extension. So any files with the extension Excel, Excel. So this is the extension of the Excel files. And okay. So next thing I'll do is to I'll assign a new variable called count. So this this count will be used later for looping through the Excel sheets within a file. So as you can see in the in file one, I have more than one sheet. And then I'll just set a variable count control K and here I'll set it as a generic value so just set this as generic value for now um the next thing so we have all the file names in our first assignment so the next thing is to look through all each of this each of this file name. So uh, for each item in file names, I want to grab all the each each of the file names within file names variable. 
and then I want to open it. I want to open each of the SL file. So the next one is to use the SL application scope. So to open each of the file. So in here, we'll, there will be items. This, the path will be item. So we see exclamation mark here. There's a compiler errors. I see what's what this says. This allow implicit conversions from object to a string. So it needs to be string um here. Let's see. The type argument is object. Let's change it to string. Okay. So the error is gone. So once we open each SL file, we wanna. The next thing we wanna do is to get the all the worksheets within the file. As you can see, file one has more than one worksheet, so I wanna get all the worksheets within the file. I don't wanna miss anything. So let's get the activity called get SL. Sorry, so it should be get workbook sheet. I have more than one, so I should use get workbook sheet. So you can see um the two tip here says retrieves a list of all sheet names. And I'll give a variable sheet within So let's set this as variable two, and then this will be a list here. So it will be a list of string. So the next thing after we got all the workbook sheets within a file, the next thing we we'll want to do is to look into each of the sheets. So another four loop for each loop so for each item within sheet and then we want to read all the data within that sheet so let's use read range So we have read range, as you can see in the two tip here, read. it reads the value of a range in range Excel formats from a spreadsheet as data type. So the next thing we want to do is, so we have, so remember this, the for loop actually loop into each of the sheet name. So we use this item dot and change it to string item dot to string. And then wanna we wanna read every all the data, so every single thing there. And the output, let's put this in a data table. Let's call it data table one. And then we haven't set this as variable. Let's not forget that. Set variables. Okay, we've set this as data table. The next thing, after we have um, all the data within a worksheet, the next thing it will be less. It would that will be oh pretty much we have done 
almost most of the work now. So then the last thing will be to write it into another Excel file. So we have read all the data within every single sheet. We want to put it in to another Excel file. So next thing is to let's do another Excel partition scope and then Link the name of the directory and then the uh, file name. I'll just put as I just name the final SL file as final. So it will automatically automatically create a new file even though it's not there at the moment. So one the once the workflow is run, it will automatically create a new file called final where we put in all of our data in. So within this new SL file, I want to write my range or all my data into this SL file. So it will be a right range. So and then um this is where the counts came to play. So I wanna put each of the file and worksheets into a mouth into multiple sheets and then I'll just give the sheet name um, as sheet one, two, three and onwards uh, based on how many files are being looked in. And then yeah, the, the first row or column will be A1 for cell. And then the data table is the data table that we put all our data in. This is where we store our data. Commands read vector range. So pretty much we have plain sheet name for each of our files. We write them from the start and then the last thing we want to, because we, we are looping through the, the count, so the last step is to just do increment count increment. So let's start this assign count. We just increase the counts by one. So plus count plus one. So every time the work this steps are finished until here the counts will just uh increase by one. So we have like sheet one, two, three and onwards based on the number of files or sheets we have. So pretty much we're done. So next thing is just to Run this workflow. Let's see what we get. Okay. Execution is finished. Let's see. We have this final file here. See how many sheet names we have. So we have sheet one, two, and three from three our files, two from our file one, so sheet one and two, and three from our file two. So that's it. Um pretty straightforward and easy. Um I hope this will help you to automate. Some of your SL work. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of videos. And just drop me a message. Let me know um, what you think. And if you have any questions or if you need to learn about different topics, um, just let me know. And hope to see you next time.